Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about making a reflected ceiling plan in layout. So we're not actually going to make the plan in layout. We're going to we're going to put the plan together in layout, but the thing we're going to do or work with is the geometry from SketchUp. So what we're going to do, we're, we're going to do two things. We're going to talk about how to organize your model, your, your model with a vaulted ceiling inside of SketchUp so that when you get to layout, it's a couple of clicks to put together an actual ceiling plan. That's what we're going to do. All right, so let's start simple. I have some example houses here. This is a simple one. Um, right here, I have like a scissored roof truss situation over some walls. If I click on the group, I can see that my ceiling consists of this scissor vault under the top. Very, very simple. If I double click on my walls, my walls vault up underneath the ceiling. There we go. And, and that model, again, I don't have gable overhangs. There's no coffers. There's no, there's a lot of details missing, but I'm just trying to strip this down to the most uh, basic functions of, of what we need in a model. So if I look at this, uh, I could take this. So if I went to, let's go to view, uh, let's, let's, uh, I'm sorry, camera, and let's go to a top view. So if I look straight down, well, here's simple enough. Go to, go to camera again, parallel projection. Here's my roof plan. If I was to turn my roof group off, my roof tag off, then I get my walls. Super simple. What I don't have here is a ceiling. Now, if you have a flat ceiling, there's no, there's no vaults or anything, then you don't have to worry so much about something like a ceiling plan. But as soon as I have vaults, I have to find some way to present this back to, to the viewer, whoever's going to build this. I need this in a plan. So I've had people go, well, but just use a section plane. Well, unfortunately, section plane sounds good. But if you look here, the section plane would have to come in here and cut on this little tiny piece. You have to slope up a little bit, slope back down, cut down here too, go below this overhang and then come out. And section planes are just flat planes. So that, there's no way to get a flat plane in here to not show any of the roof or overhang, but at the same time, show all the ceiling vault. So what we have to do is we have to add a little bit of extra geometry. Here's it's and it's not much. It's pretty simple. Since I already have the roof volume created, all I have to do is select these two pieces and I can right click and I can say copy. I'm sorry, it's not actually in the right click menu. I have to go up to edit and say copy. I'm going to edit the group or exit the group. I'm going to turn roofs off and then just go right to edit paste in place. That's just going to drop those two planes right on where the ceiling goes. So a couple things now, I'm almost there. I mean, this is this is pretty close to it. If we're going to boil it all down to the three minute clip, we're there. But I'm going to right click, I'm going to hit reverse faces, I'm going to right click again, make it a group. And I'm going to come up here under properties and assign that group to the ceiling tag. All right, so with that, now I have ceiling there, my ceiling geometry is separate. So I could show my walls in one uh, one page in layout. I could turn ceilings on and show that. And then I could turn my roof on and show that. Now to take that just a little bit further, because we like to, we like to you know, continue to teach here, uh, I might want to go in and do something like change my ceiling line type to something like a dash line. Um, that, so if I go to a top view looking straight down, that's going to give me that dash line, which may be how you show your ceilings already. Maybe not. I don't know. If you're matching an existing style, do what you want to. Um, my experience has always been in the plans that I've developed in the past was to put this in as a dash line to show where the ceiling vaults were on the ceiling plan. Um, pretty simple. And there we go. That's that is a ceiling plan for that simple roof. And like I said, in this case, it was pretty, pretty, pretty simple because the roof matched the, the ceiling, so it wasn't too hard. But uh, this works just as well if I have something where I have, again, just another example, if I have uh, a ceiling and a roof that are different. Because if I look at this one, if I was, go again, camera, top view, and look at this, this would be my roof plan. And if I turn my roof off, this would be my ceiling plan because I have that scissor vault underneath the shed roof. Uh, and I could show that as two separate plans by breaking that ceiling out. All right, so these are good good examples. Let's go to something a little more realistic. I don't know, 
possible. Um, so here I have a house with, I got the kind of sloping slab roof. It's got a big one coming up this way, up this way, up this way. Um, but if I come in here and look at the ceiling plan, I'll turn the roof off. I already had this broken out. I can see my ceiling slopes up under this slab, up under this slab. Then I have a drop flat ceiling over this whole section. And here I have a scissor. So if I go to, to a top view, it's going to look like this as opposed to the roof looking, you know, quite a bit different. The roof is going to have these three sloping slope up, slope up, slope up, and then the ceiling is going to look very different. So let's see how this translates to SketchUp. Let's go back to our first one and I'm going to go file. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to send it to layout. And we'll just put that on a letter landscape for this example. And there we go. We're kind of done at this point. I mean, at this point, this is what's, what additional value or information do we want to add here? So there are some things I would do. I would turn off the background. I don't like that gray background. I like the white background with my model on top. Um, I could go either way, uh, raster or vector. One of the things you'll see with vector specific to edges or line styles is when I hit vector, it will draw that dashed line over top of my solid line down below. Um, that's your call. Do you like that? Do you not like that? Um, but it will do that. So I'm going to see this, the, the, you know, the black, white, black, white, black, white of that dashed line is going to draw itself over top of my solid black lines and my walls. Whereas, uh, with a raster or I think hybrid will do the same way. It'll do this the same way. But if I switch to, uh, the raster, raster is going to, draw those solid lines over top. So for this, again, with, for my thinking, the ceiling planes, having the dashed line show up over top of solid walls is actually exactly how I would want to show that. And then this is place I can, I can add whatever additional information I want. So, uh, it's pretty simple, but maybe dimension to where the break in the ceiling is, which in this case is right in the middle. Uh, maybe I come in here and do something like I'll do a little, little text box right here that says this is two over 12. And then we'll supplement that with a little, maybe a little arrow here to indicate the direction of the slope. Something like that. Whoops. And then with that, grab that. Let's have me move it back towards a little more towards the middle. Option, copy that over here. And then invert it. Ooh, no, I don't want to invert both. <laughs> Let's just invert this little image right here. There we go. So I can do something like that to add that information that I want to see in this model. Again, this is our simplest example. Let's go ahead and let's let's change some things. Let's let me get rid of these two right here. I'm gonna keep these on the, the model and then I'm gonna grab my model box and change it from the, the house one to house three. And then we see this is the much more, uh, the, the larger uh, ceiling anyhow. It's, yeah, I was, I was, I was for whatever reason, I wanna call it complex, but it's more complex than the first one for sure. Uh, there we go, I go like that. And then I can copy this up here, whoops. Try that again. This time, actually, hold the modifier key to copy. Grab these two, put that over there, maybe, and then maybe we'll just come in here and we'll just put uh, um, something like that. So, quick, easy. If there is specific things that maybe the transition's not on there, maybe this location of this is worth noting uh something like this i might want to put in i don't i don't know i don't know exactly what information you would want but those are kinds of things where it's not connected directly to the geometry maybe that's that's just uh all by itself in there but with that uh you'd see very quick and easy and the only reason it's so quick is because this is one of those times where it's a perfect example of you know an extra couple of minutes inside a SketchUp makes layout super easy to use and creating a ceiling plans really a couple of clicks 
uh, if you go in and create your geometry ahead of time inside of SketchUp. So that was what I want to show. Um, I ran into this because of that simple scissor example showing that ceiling plan wasn't straightforward with the, the final geometry that I actually wanted. Uh, so I had to break that apart, but like I said, it's not complicated, it's not difficult. It is that extra step or two inside of SketchUp that makes layout even easier. Layout's getting, I, I mean, uh, the ability to go in and change your models and your views from layout is awesome. It's so much better, but there's still that step or two that you wanna do inside of SketchUp to make layout just very easy, very smooth to use. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, leave us a comment down below. Have you used something like this? Do you have a different process for creating ceiling plans? Um, or do you have an idea for a video of something we've never shown before? Let us know any of that in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.